Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these beaded ball earrings. I'm showing them so a beginner could make them, so stay with me until the end of this video. Please subscribe with the bell if you still haven't, also like, share and comment, in this way you give me signals to continue with my work. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and more for the membership perks in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 oz seed beads, white and dark blue. I'm here also using 6 mm pearls, in this case 6 of them. And here I'm using only two HO beads. And I also use a pin that is not obligatory, but I find it easier when I use the pin to form my beaded balls and I also need earring findings and jump rings. This is nylon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D and here I'm also using size 11 beading needle. You could use similar size and these are scissors and now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm starting my work by picking up four of these beautiful blue beads that have a little purple nuance to them. Okay and I'm going to slide those down. Now what I want to do is go through all of them one more time just like this. Then I will stick my needle in my mat and here where my tail thread and my main thread meet I want to make a knot. And how I make it I make here a loop, go twice through the loop I've made and pull like this. And then I want to make just one more knot. Now it's all tight and secure. And what I want to do next is go through the following seed bead and pull a little bit. Now in my next step I want to take a white bead and I'm going in the next blue one. A white bead again. Go in the next blue and I'm going to repeat this until the end. Okay, now I have this. In order to continue guys, I'm going through this white bit that's sticking out and that is on my way. Then I want to take two blue beads and go in the following white. Now in this row I'm expanding. Up until now I added two rows with four beads. And now in this row I will add eight beads but I will add them two by two. Two by two between the white beads. Okay, and now I have this. In my next row, what I want to do is go through this blue bead and I will start adding white beads. Now I alternate the colors as you may see. First I added blue, then white, then again blue and now I'm back to white beads, okay? I take one white and go through the following bead that is sticking out. Then again one white, go in a, the next bead that is sticking out. 
and in this way guys I'm going to add eight white beads one by one in the previous row I also had eight but I added them two by two and from now on I will be adding rows with eight beads added one by one okay this is the fourth bead that I'm adding This is the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth one. For those of you that don't know, this is called circular peyote stitch. And now, as I have eight beads now, single beads, added one by one, what I need to do is go in my bead that is sticking out you see this one the white one now again i will start adding blue beads one by one and i'm going in the ones that stick out and i will do this again eight times <laughs> Okay, now I just added the 8 bead and what I need to do next after I add the 8 one, I step up in my next row. Okay, this is how I'm stepping up in the next row. Now again what I need are white beads. I take a white and I go in the next blue. Okay, and now I'm gonna start pulling a little bit my work and it will bend and this is a wanted effect i think you could guess why because here i'm making a sphere now i added two whites and i need to add eight okay When I pull, you see how it bends. okay you count to eight and when you add the eight one you know it's time to step up in your next row which is this one okay now i think it's time to take my pin here and go through this hole with it okay just like this you see i'm adding it here in the center and it is sticking out from this side then i'm taking one of my pearls one of my six millimeter pearls and i pull now you could cut this tail thread here like this And now you should hold your work in at, from this step on like this to fix the pearl to stay in the center. 
Now I'm starting another row with eight single beads. Uh, this time it is with blue beads. Okay, I take a blue and I go here through the white one, through the next white that is sticking out. Okay, and again, eight as I said. Okay, and this is the eighth one that I just added here, guys. And what I need next, guys, is absolutely the same thing. I'm stepping up here through the next blue bead to start my next row. Okay, now I'm stepping up in this blue bead here. Okay, after the eight white beads, I'm stepping up in the blue and I'd continue one more row with white beads. Okay, a white one. Go here in the blue. Again, a white. Go in the next blue. And continue this until you have eight beads added one by one. Now we added three, so five more. Okay, guys, and this is the last eight beads that I have here in this row. And now as I turn my work in this direction and pull tight, this is what I have. I have white beads that stick out as before. And now I will step up in one of those white beads. Now this row will be a little bit different than before. Again, it's time to add blue beads, but this time I will add not eight, but only four of them. So I'm taking one blue bead and as I'm exiting from a white, I'm going in the next two whites that are sticking out. Before I was going, I was filling all the gaps between the beads. And now I'm taking one and going through two. In this way, I'm decreasing now my peyote stitch from eight to four beads, okay? Then again, I do absolutely the same thing. I take one blue, I fill this gap, but after that, I go not through one, but through two white beads. You see what I have. And this is the third time I'm doing it. I'm taking one blue 
and going through the next two white beads that are sticking out. This is the third time I'm doing it. And I need to do this four times. So I'm taking one blue bead and this is the last fourth time that I'm doing it. Okay guys, so you see now it's obvious that I have four blue beads that are sticking out. You could see it like this in this profile and you could see them sticking out to the center in this profile. And what I need to do next is to go through one of those blue beads that are sticking out. And what I want to do is just to fill the gaps between them with white beads because you know I'm alternating the color. It comes the white color and I already decrease from 8 beads to 4 beads. So I'm just filling in the gaps with 4 white beads. Okay, and here pay attention where you should go through the blue one. All the time you take white and go through the blue. Okay, now in my next step I'm exiting out of a blue one, but I want to go here in the inner circle through those four white beads that I added and reinforce them to make them stay nice and close to each other. Okay, I go like this with my thread. Connecting them. Okay, now since they are connected, what I want to do is go through some beads here in this direction. And here I want to make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and then I want to go through one or two beads like this and now it's absolutely safe to cut my thread. and my ball looks nice and tight, okay? So now I have one ball, but for an earring I want three balls. So off camera I will repeat all of those steps two more times to make two more balls and when I'm ready with the next two balls I'll be back to tell you how to assemble them. Okay my friends and off camera what I did is absolutely the same thing and I did two more of those beautiful balls and you could pause and do this as well and now I'm going to show you how to assemble them in an earring okay I'm putting aside those two balls for now and I took a new thread on my needle I think half an arm span will be enough even less but it's easier to work with a little bit longer thread okay so now I'm going through one of my beads that I have here and first I want to make a knot and how I make it I make here a loop as I showed you before and I go twice through the loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull then I go through one of those white beads in the center and one now it's time to take one of those atos why ato because my earring finding and my jump ring go easily through it. If I take 11 all I won't be able to put them. If you have uh, finer jump rings maybe you will be able to do it with 11 all Okay so now 
as I'm exiting through one of those white beads, I'm going through the opposite one and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Then what I need to do is go in the neighbor white like this. And one more time, I want to reinforce this by going through this uh, white bead, then through one of those beads one more time, like this. And you see, now I have this bead sticking out where I will attach my earring finding. And here I don't need this thread anymore, so I'm going to cut it close to my work. Now what I want to do is go through the hole of my pearl. Okay, and when I go through this hole, I'm exiting here between those four blue beads that I started my work from. Okay, now I have this and I'm taking two blue beads, one white bead and two blue beads and I'm going to take one of my other bows and I'm going through it, okay. And I'm sliding this down. Then again, two blue, one white and two blue and I'm taking the third bead that I have here and by the way in absolutely the same way you could make a bracelet just here you will attach a clasp instead of earring finding and you will continue adding balls and balls and at the end you could add another eight row and attach uh, let's say the jump ring and you will have a bracelet okay now here at the end what I want to do is to take three white beads to finish my earring, slide those down, then don't go through them but go through the bowl and pull like this. Okay. Now I have those beads sticking out from here and I will go one more time in this direction to reinforce my earring through all of those beads and I'm exiting here in the middle okay you see how it dangles it's really beautiful and now I want to go here through some beads in this direction like this and now guess what my friends I will make a knot I will make a knot here absolutely the same way how I'm making a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull then I go through one or through two beads in this direction and cut my thread as close as possible to my work. If a thread is sticking out at the end, you could burn it with a zipper. In my last step, guys, I'm taking this jump ring And I'm going to open this one up and I'm going through this atoll that I have here. Then I'm taking my earring finding and I put it like this. In this case it doesn't matter in which direction. And then I squeeze back absolutely in the same direction as I opened it. And now my earring is ready.